Hey, so I am recording my next vlog right now and um, it might be a bit shaky because I'm actually holding up the camera right now. So, you know, I might accidentally shake it a couple times. But, um, so nothing much has happened yet. I mean, I've been getting some new letters from YFU and stuff, like about my flight itinerary, what I should bring to Japan, what not to bring, not to overpack and stuff like that. And, um, but I'm making this video because a lot of people, um, have been asking me about my host family. Um, I've said before that there might be some problems with them. And, you know, people have been asking me, like, what's wrong? So, I guess I'll make this video about it. Um, um, I'm also going to be making a new one, probably in a couple of days maybe after I like start packing and after I actually buy my host family presents like I'm leaving in one week can you believe it one week but I haven't even gotten my host family presents yet or decided to pack or even decided what to pack yet so I guess I'm pretty behind but I'm really stressed out because next week is finals and I don't think I'm gonna get anything done until like the last minute. I'm probably going to be like packing the night before I leave and like rushing out to get some last minute, last minute things I need. But anyway, um, so this video is going to be about my host family. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of complaining and I might be kind of rude. I mean, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to be that rude, but I might end up being a bit offensive at times, so if you don't want me, if you don't want to see me complaining a lot, then uh, I guess just stop watching this video. Um, so if you're still here, I guess you're willing to listen to me complain about my whole family. So um, I told you guys that um, um, I really not. Um, um, I wanted a different host family and like my parents tried to ask why you to switch but they ended up telling us a couple days ago that that's not going to be possible so I guess I'm kind of stuck with them but I'm trying to be positive I really am trying to be optimistic but I'm usually a really optimistic person but it's not working out too well um, I'm hoping that maybe YFU will let me change at the last minute but if not I guess I'll try to make the best of things, but... Anyway, so my host family. First of all, I found out about my host family, like... Like, um... Two weeks ago, almost. They live in Hyogo Prefecture, and... It's, like, in a town called... I can't remember the name right now. I have it written down somewhere, but I, I don't have the paper with me. But, um, um, the thing is, though, that, one, it's a really rural place, and I have nothing wrong with the countryside, like, I guess I'm more of a city person, but still, I really like the countryside, too, and I would have been perfectly fine with living in the country. The only thing is, like, there are so many other problems in my host family. <sighs> other than that, not only, um, that, but I have no host siblings. So, you know, I'll be living with two random strangers and with no host siblings. And I'm, I don't know, my parents are kind of uncomfortable with that. So, yeah. And on top of that, like, we, I, we have no idea what they're like. Like, all of the other exchange students um, on, my face, on the Facebook group, like, all of them call their host parents or their host family, like, took the initiative and called them or emailed them. And guess what? They never did anything of that sort. And one, I don't have their email because YFU never gave it to me. But I'm pretty sure they have mine because I gave YFU my email. So they should, they're should supposed to give it to your host family. So they never emailed me and I wasn't able to email them because I don't have an email. And I have their phone number and me and my parents have tried calling like 
ten times at least, and they've never picked up once. Like we've called like once every day of the week at different times, and they've never picked up. Then they've never called me either. So I know nothing about them. I don't know what they look like, what they're like, if they're even nice or what. <laughs> I'm just kind of. <laughs> Really mad because everyone else, like they are, they are already so close to their host families, especially their host siblings. They're all like they know what the host siblings like, so they know what to get for host family presents. I'm just really disappointed that my host parents are being so like lazy that they can't even contact me or they can't even pick up the phone when I'm calling. Well, I get it that maybe they're out, but I've called so many times. Like, how can they not be home once? Like, where are they then? Now I feel like if they're so busy or so lazy to get in contact with me right now, I really don't see how they would be a good host family. <sighs> anyway, the biggest problem, hugest problem, the thing I hate most about my host family is that they're not letting me go to school. Okay, I'm so freaking angry about that. Like seriously, I'm not going to be getting to school, going to school. And like everyone, all the whole students that um, have, I mean all the exchange students that have went in previous years and all the people that are going this year, all of them are going to school. Not a single one has ever not gone to school. And like, I just happen to get the one whole family that won't let me go to school. And I'm just really, really, really mad about that. And like, um... When I first got my host family, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to school or not because why you told me they didn't have a school recorded for me. But, you know, I was trying to be optimistic. I was thinking, oh, maybe they just don't have it at hand right now. They'll mail me the info later. And so I was talking to, like, previous YB students and the current ones that are going this year. And I was like, oh, I'm really worried that I won't be able to go to school. And everyone's like, oh, and you'll definitely go to school. And this one previous exchange student was like, everyone goes to school. It's, um, it's like predetermined like everyone no one doesn't get to go to school and that just kind of like improved my mood because I was like oh that means I'll probably get to go to school and here I am can't go to school so now I'm living with two strangers who are who, for all I know they're like 80 year olds <sighs> not to be offensive <laughs> so I am just really frustrated but one I'm living with two famous strangers who I don't know anything about at all I have no host sibling, so what am I gonna? I have no host sibling, and I can't go to school. So what am I going to do? Just sit around all day, watch TV, go on the internet? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe they don't even have Wi-Fi because of, they're in such a rural country. So what's the point of my parents spending so much money to send me to Japan, and I can't even do the thing that? the whole point of going on exchange, going to school, making friends your age, having host siblings, and like connecting a lot with your host family. And half of that stuff's already impossible for me. One, I'm not gonna go to school. Two, I don't have a host sibling. I don't have host siblings. And so far, I haven't heard anything from my host family, so how am I supposed to connect with them? I just feel like it's so freaking stupid. And either I'm just really unlucky or YV just hates me, I don't know. Like in my application and in my interview, I said specifically I would like to be in, in an urban area with siblings, hopefully my age, and going to school. And it turns out that YV gave me everything exactly the opposite what I want. And I mean, I guess it's not YV's fault. I'm just really... And then, like, everyone's like, oh, don't worry, you'll still have a great time. And I'm just so, like, when people say that to me, I am just like, oh my god. How do you know that? Okay, one, you have an amazing host family. Okay, you have no idea what I'm going through. So, how do you know I'll have a great time? And yeah, maybe they'll take me around to a lot of places, like tourist places. But no matter what they do, if I'm going with two adults, I'm pretty sure I won't have as good of a time as if I go with people actually my age. <sighs> so, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of really, actually, I'm really upset. 
And I was really hoping YV would change Hell's Family School year because oh, I just feel so disappointed when everyone's talking about their school uniforms and how, how excited they are to meet their host family and go to school and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have a host sibling. I'm not gonna go to school. Anyway, yeah, I realize I've been um, pretty mean in this video. <sighs> I'm going to try to be more optimistic about this, and hopefully, my host family will actually be amazing. You know, there's always room for hope. And if they're not, Maybe, maybe, if they're really bad, I can get Wacky to switch my host family while I'm in Japan. But still, I feel like it's so complicated, and it's so awkward. It's like you've met these people for weeks, and now you're like, oh, I don't like you. I'm going to go to a different family. You know, I feel like that's kind of, that's actually really mean and really awkward. They're like, bye. I don't want to wish you anymore. But, um, yeah, well, we'll see. This just it's just that I probably won't have any footage of me going to school if that's what you guys are looking forward to. Um, but a lot of other exchange students have video blogs too, so look around and if you need any people, like I know a lot of exchange students that are making video blogs so I can give you their channel links and stuff. Just ask and hopefully you can find out more about Japanese schools from their videos. Thanks. Oh, so disappointed! Oh. Well, who knows? Maybe when I go there, I can convince my host family to let me go to school. But I doubt they're going to if they haven't done so yet. So, yeah. I have no idea how, how I'm going to make any Japanese friends at all. <clears throat> Anyway, bye.